Hi, welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today we are going to solve this system of differential equations using the exponential matrix. So here's how we're going to do this. The first thing I'm going to do is let's recall one of the thing, um, properties we learned. We said that um, if, suppose, suppose that A equals V lambda V inverse. In other words, I e a is diagonalizable diag on all eyes a bull or a is diagonalized I'm not sure what the best vocabulary there is but that's okay so in other words let's if if this is true then what we said is that e to the a t this can be cleaned up as v e to the lambda t, v inverse, and we said that e to the lambda t, the, the lambda, e, or, oops, that e to the lambda t is the diagonal matrix of e to the lambda 1 t all the way down to the e lambda n t. That's what that is, and those are zeros everywhere else. Well, let's see if we can do that. So first off, we need to find our eigenvalues, then our eigenvectors. So in this problem here, I'm going to do this a little bit more quickly today, but we can see that lambda 1 is 2, and that lambda 2 equals 4. So let's solve this. So then I have to find my eigenvector. So when lambda 1 is 2, then we're going to solve a minus 2i. I'm going to call v1 my eigenvector. So that's going to give me the matrix of uh, 0, 3, 2, 0, like that, times v, oops, not v2, v1. This has to equal 0. Now, um, we've discussed one of the, it's sometimes solving this feels weird, but if you remember that a matrix equation just represents a linear combination, in other words, this is equal to some scalar times the first vector, 0, 0, plus another scalar, v2, times the second vector, 3, 2. And notice that we want to get to 0 as, the e, as easily as possible. Well, there's an infinite number of ways to do this, but here's the one thing we know. We know that v2 has to be 0. So this, this implies that v2 has to be 0. So v1 can be any number other than 0. An eigenvector is not a 0 vector. So I could pick 1. But I could pick 15 or 42, but the most efficient one is 1. So we pick the most simple numbers as we can for our eigenvectors. It just makes our life much nicer. Uh, so what we would do is let's so then, so let's, and then we're going to use v1 as 1. So my first eigenvector, v1, is 1, 0. Okay. Then let's continue. So my next one is when lambda 2 is equal to 4. So then we're going to solve that a minus 4i times our second eigenvector, that's a v2, equals, it's going to be a 2 minus 4, that's a minus 2, 0. Then I'm going to have a 3. And then we're going to have a 4 minus 4, that's a 0, times v2. Um, well, notice this has to equal 0, but that's the same as saying some v1 minus 2, 0, plus v2, another scalar, times 3, 0. How do we get to 0? I think we can do this most effectively if we use 3 times the first vector, minus 2, 0, plus 2 times the second vector, minus 2, 0. 0, and that works. So there we have it. v2, the second eigenvector, is 3, 2. OK, so now we have it. We'll look at what we just said. So now this means that my eigenvector matrix is 1, 0, 
3, 2, and I have my eigenvalue matrix, which is 2, 0, 0, 4, and V inverse, let's see, V inverse, it says, whoops, V, v inverse says we um, switch the diagonal, so 2, 1, and then we change the signs on the anti-diagonal, 0, minus 3, and then we multiply this by 1 over the determinant of V, that's going to be a 2, there it is, 2. So here we go. Now we can write the problem as, so our solution is y equals some initial is, um, is uh, e to the, well, let's, let's, let's first do this, e to the a t, well, this is, we just said that this is v times e to the lambda t times v inverse. Well, v, we have that, that is, 1, 0, 3, 2, and, oh, whoops, I made a mistake up above. That should have been a, a 3 right there, not a minus 2. That works. Then, yeah, then, uh, now my eigenvalue, now e to the lambda t, really this is e to the 2t, 0, 0, e to the 4t times the inverse matrix, 2, 0, minus 3, 1, times 1 half. Well, let's finish this up. Here we go. I'm going to um, use the associative property. Let's multiply these first two matrices. So I'm going to get an e to the 2t. So that's row 1, column 1. Row 1, column 2 is going to be 2e the 4t, row 2, column 1 is going to be 0, row 2, column 2 is 2e to the 4t, and then we have to multiply by v inverse, 2, 0, minus 3, 1, times 1 half, so that's going to be row 1, column 1, that's going to just be 2e to the 2t, row 1, column 2 is going to be minus 3e to the 2t plus 2e to the 4t, okay, and here we go, now row 2, column 1, that's going to be a 0, that's a 0, and uh, last one is row two, column two. That's going to be a zero. That's going to be a two e to the four t. And there we have it. That is the exponential matrix. And so now we can say, and this, this is e to the a t. And so now our final solution is y equals and I'm not going to write all that matrix again, but we just found it. It's e to the a, e to the a t times whatever your initial condition vector is, and that's how we can use the exponential matrix to solve a system of differential equations. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.